Hello, I've had a lot of questions about how to merge documents um, following my blog post on merging documents for reports. So I want to walk through that process with you today. On my screen I have an Excel sheet and it has all of the data points that I include in my report. So if you look here you can see top of in 1A we have the date of the report, the school district, the district address and city, the student's full name, first name, etc. And this goes on and these are all the points that I include in my report. Student age, student data, student grade, ID, etc, etc. Um, next, uh, what we need to do is go to uh, your report and we're going to create a Word document for you that has fields in it, that utilizes the field. So step one, you're going to open up a Word document and type out all of the different things that you need in your report. Step two, you're going to go to Microsoft Word or whatever program you use. Um, you'll open your document. So this is an just a sample report. I've changed the names in here and dates, but we have one for a student named Jacobo Rendon. So grab a report of yours and you're going to use that to put these merge fields in which will become your overall template that you'll use. Um, you can start this process from scratch, but I think it's easiest to pick a report that you've done and insert the merge fields and then call that your main template. So let's get started. Here we have um, Jacobo Rendon. So we're going to take one of our fields in that other document is called full name. So we're going to go here. Uh, actually, the first thing we need to do is select. We say use an existing list. And I am going to pick the list Jacobo Rendon. Merge doc for demo and open that. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm linking the Word file and the Excel file. So it says that Microsoft Word needs to access Excel. You'll have to put your password in. And we're going to use Sheet 1 and just say OK. So here we go. Now these two documents are linked together. And then I can go up here. I'm going to highlight this child's name and go to Insert Merge Field. And from here, I'm going to pick the field that I want this information to be pulled from. So here I have student full name. So now you can see that instead of this child's name, it has my code. So then I can use my spreadsheet to tell it what I want to go in there. Next up is age. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert the a student age right there. Date of birth. We're going to do the same thing. Just highlight what's there in your template or the report that you've already done and put the merge code in. Grade. I'm just going to go through a few of these. Highlight it, insert merge field, and student grade. ID number. And then we can walk all the way through this process. Same thing with our, our district up here. Um, we have a merge field for that in our Excel spreadsheet. So that's here, school district, and the district address, and next up is the city-state zip. So we'll include that, and I'm going to put a return in between those so it looks a little nicer. Date of report, we'll take this date out, highlight it, insert merge field, and that's our first field there, date of report. So you go through and put these uh, fields in, and then once you get into your text, one of the things that I think saves a lot of time 
is when we put the pronouns in. Uh, so we aren't having to go and replace all of those. So here's an example of here's a possessive pronoun, his mother. So we'll go here and we're going to find our pronouns. Right here, student, possessive pronoun. Not capitalized because it's in the middle of a sentence. Trying to find another one, let's see. Here we go, so here is a subject pronoun capitalized at the beginning of a sentence. And you would want to go through and do all of these. So it is a little bit time consuming on the front end. Here's capital, student, subject, pronoun. It's a little tedious on the front end, but once you get it done, it will save you so much time. So now I'm going to save this document with my merge codes in it. And then <clears throat> over here, I've put in, so I have all of my headers and we've already put in the information for this student that we want to feed into this report. So we'll go over here now and say finish merge and edit individual documents. And then what will happen is a new document will pop up that has all of the information I've told my program to pull from the Excel spreadsheet. Um, and you'll see that we had grade and we had changed that, um, date of birth, et cetera. So it feeds the information into there. So the way we use this is we start with an Excel spreadsheet when we get a referral packet and we fill in all of the information that we can. And then when it comes time to sit down and write the report, we merge it with the template and then it has all of the pronouns that we need and um, the right information in that template. So we can start writing from there. I like to include all of my paragraphs that I might use in my template and then I can delete what I don't need. So it really speeds up the report writing process once you spend the time to go through and make your template what you want it to be. Alright, good luck guys. Thanks.